Hey, sometimes we need to do what's called pattern interruption. We need to break the routine. In fact, lots of neuroscientists agree that routine is one of the things that actually your brain is trained to do. It's trained to conserve energy. It's trained to eliminate uh, any type of excess waste. And so it's very efficient. But one of the things that it does then is it creates habits. And habits are basically your uh, body, your brain stuck into a routine. That's what a habit is, seriously. A habit is just repeated actions that are set on autopilot. And there are advantages to that. There are advantages to not having to think about how to brush your teeth every time you need to brush your teeth. There's advantages of not having to think about driving every time you hop into a car. But there are also massive disadvantages as well. You miss so much of life. You just coast. You just, you just literally go through your, your, your day pretty much on autopilot and you forget what you're tasting. You forget what you're smelling. You forget conversations you know we're, we're glued to our digital devices many times and so we go through an entire day and we're like what even happened where was I even and we actually lose mindfulness we lose presence so how do you shake it up I'll tell you how you shake it up pattern interruption pattern interruption right now I'm listening to an audiobook that I normally never would choose right now I just got done drinking a drink a smoothie, a flavor I never would normally have. What I'm doing is I'm shocking my senses. Tomorrow I'm gonna do a workout I've never done before. I'm constantly trying to get comfortable with being, uh, I should say, yeah, I'm comfortable with being uncomfortable. That's the goal. I, I am living my, I'm walking down a road. <laughs> but you get the point. So I just wanna challenge you do some pattern interruption today, like even the smallest thing. And it, what happens is it becomes kind of addictive. It, 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 it becomes um, fun. It becomes pleasurable. You begin to um, see life differently. This is Carrie Oberbrunner, Be a Soul on Fire. If you want more on neuroscience and more on kind of becoming unhackable, some of this concepts, you can go to elixirprojectbook.com, get your free book over there, just cover shipping and handling, but we talk about it quite a bit. It's fun and it, uh, it's part of being a soul on fire where you break out of the routine.